Welcome to this week's Steam Culture. Well, the temperature's dropping. I don't know about you, but here, it's starting to get into the low 40s, which means the heat's coming on. And with that heat, that dry, hot air can lower the humidity in the room, which means a lot of people are getting sick. Well, a lot of people use steam to increase the humidity. In fact, hospitals do it all the time. Now, in hospitals, it's incredibly important, obviously, because they need a sterile environment. Well, they have this thing called the aerosol effect. And that's one way that germs get spread. And it's just like what it sounds like, an aerosol can that happens when you sneeze or cough. So check out our little video here if you need the full effect. Pretty gross, huh? That's what we call the aerosol launch. Well, here's something else that's gross. That's getting in the ductwork and moving around and spreading from room to room because studies show that dry air, which has low humidity, actually prolongs the, the, like the spores and the bacteria and all that stuff. So enter steam humidification. So either using the steam from an existing boiler or with a standalone unit that generates its own steam, they pump that stuff through the ductworks. And what happens is as it raises the humidity, it's also killing the spores and the bacteria because steam is generally created at around 212 degrees to 260 degrees in these applications. Well, there's other uses for steam too. Uh, museums, art galleries all use it to help preserve uh, rare artifacts um, that are made out of wood or metals or, or canvases and parchment or things like that that don't like wild swings in humidity levels. Also, um, lumber factories or lumber plants where the wood can bend and warp if it gets really dry and if they're uh, making any kind of wood where they have to glue stuff together the glue doesn't bond very well um, in um, situations where the humidity is either really high or really low well interesting note i learned about two kinds of humidification isothermal and abdiatic now isothermal is steam humidification Abdiatic is anytime you atomize water and turn it into water vapor, like a cool mist humidifier. Well, that change of state from water to a vapor requires energy, and it comes from the air, so it literally lowers the temperature of the air in the room. So that cool mist humidifier feels cool because the air temperature is being lowered. So a lot of places prefer steam because already being a vapor, it doesn't draw the temperature down the room, so you get this nice, steady room temperature. So. Maybe you knew that, but if you didn't, you're better off because you watch steam culture. Abdiatic humidification or isothermal? No brainer, isothermal. So thanks for joining me today. Go out and Google steam humidity. While you're out there, Google us because we got content for you each and every week. I'm gonna go get to work on something for you next week. Stay warm.